right, let's see, how's everything looking? Everything's looking good. So, what's going on everyone? This is Aaron, aka TB and Yasha, I'm bringing you guys some classic gameplay. The game of the choice, for those of you who didn't recognize off the back, this is the old school Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. Now, a lot of you have been questioning, where's my initial D, Forza, Gran Turismo, Wangan, Import Tuner Challenge, other racing games, etc. Um, those games will be coming, but you know, I want to show some of the credibility to some, to some of the old school racers out there, so I want to go ahead and just, you know, hop right into it. It's, um, it's one of those games I grew up on, so I figured I'd, you know, pick it up on Amazon.com and give it a try here. Now, the first thing that I found weird, and I don't know if I know this as a child, but this game has beginner or expert. Now, I'm not a beginner, and I don't think I'm an expert on this game, but whatever. Let's go ahead and play. Style is going to be arcade. We're going to go into right in the hot pursuit. Did not enter any cheat codes, so I'm just going to play straight through without going to these nice little tracks over here. It's okay. We're going to go to hometown, quick two laps. We're going to be driving the Lamborghini Diablo SV, aka the Sport Volante. Um, and then I'm be taking on the BMW Nazca, or is it Nazca? I don't know the proper way to pronounce that. Someone please let me know. Um, I think this vehicle has only been in Need for Speed 2 Special Edition in this game. It's a, it was always a concept vehicle like the Ford GT90, but in my opinion, it would have been a, very nice to see this vi this uh, car actually produced. I think it's a pretty nice looking vehicle. Back when I was young, I didn't know what the hell it was. I was like, yo, what is that car? And then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, it's a BMW. Huh, looks pretty cool. So if there's anyone who works at BMW watching this video, you heard it first from me. Make that car. So here we go. Lamborghini versus BMW. Three, two, nice smooth one, music. Go. Very nice launch. There's a plane above me. Now, I'm probably going to be complaining at these graphics right now because I'm on a high-definition television. Probably once I edit this video, everything will look fine, but my eyes are bleeding right now. Now, when I hit the brakes on this game, it's kind of like the modern Need for Speed and Hot Pursuit game. You automatically go into a drift. Your car oversteers. Now, when I was a young child, I did not know what drifting was. You know, I didn't know this game was incorporating that factor into I got flipped by I'm still alive but I didn't know this game was incorporating the whole term drift really so now that I'm going back and playing the game because I used to actually sit there and complain like yo why does every car automatically want to get sideways like they claim it's supposed to be an old school game but now going back and playing this game on the PlayStation 1 because Sorry, I had to concentrate on making that corner. I was afraid I was going to crash into something. Going back and playing on the PlayStation 1 like I'm doing right now, I'm like, oh, so you do get sideways on this game. When you hit the brakes or use the handbrake, your car, you know, goes to a motion. And you can actually counter steer and keep the car floating. So I thought that was a pretty sweet concept. I'm hoping I can win this race here without watching the dodge them. Hoping I can actually win this race without, um getting arrested or fined or anything here. So I'm floating at 190 miles per hour. It's the final lap I know. And this game actually has understanding. Now, what, what I find funny is some people always talk about the good old concept PC versus console. Well, back on the PlayStation 1 versus PC, some racing games were indeed better on the PlayStation 1 than the PC. Now I know you can mod on the PC, but in terms of gameplay, the cops sucked, the traffic sucked, the AI sucked. You could pretty much smoke any and everyone. I crashed there, but there's no cops around. Come on, recover. But basically, I mean, the physics are a lot better, and it's more of a challenge on the PlayStation. Of course, on PC, you can mod the graphics, add your own stuff. That's cool. That's fine and dandy. But you know, I want a little bit of a challenge. This game right here it gives it to you. That is a spike strip holding. Oh no. Am I arrested? Arrest. Well, <laughs> that sucks. I got arrested. I can still turn my wheels. Get off. So, you know, a minute and seven seconds into the race, I got arrested. Um, whoever's out there in the stream, can someone please go recover my Lamborghini? That's all I care about right now. 
Hey, but look, the other driver got arrested too. <laughs> so it all works out. We both got arrested. Two laps on the hometown. But um, this game is still uh, relatively fun. And for those of you who follow all my videos on YouTube, um, and for those of you who are new on my YouTube, let me go ahead and point out people who are new. For those of you who are new, I have tons of initial D and Wanga and other racing material. You just go to a few of the playlists I have set up. You can watch some of my online battles, some of my replays. Um, it's really enjoyable stuff. I'm gonna be, I will be bringing some up-to-date content, and I'm going to go ahead and just please the viewers out there. And I'm going to also let everyone know as a bundle that um, I'm going to start giving out prizes and things like Microsoft Points or PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live for a year. You know, I'm going to start giving out things such as that in that aspect. So for those of you who like little special gifts or little extra features, there you go. Let me know ahead of time. I will be doing that entire process. So this is T. Biniasha signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And if you're interested in joining our racing team, or shooter team or fighters anything we are still recruiting always accepting applications so you can go ahead and register on travelboys.net and that's it the links and everything are at the end of this video enjoy have a good one